Gods with Cam and Clug uh, episode, what are we now? Episode six. Five, six. Five, six. With uh, Lockie. Thanks for coming, mate. No, nah, <laughs> pleasure to be here, boys. Good to be here with you both. I oh, know, it's Absolutely. good to get you on after you had a, a pretty good game of the weekend, mate. How'd you go? Do you want to just talk about a little bit of a review and, and how you found it? Uh, yeah, it was a nice day for the, for the team. Um, if we had it kicked a bit straighter, we would have <laughs> won by a bit more, which would have been nice. But I thought defensively we were good. Um, it was nice to get back home and... Mm. I think the reason that you've got me on is because I finally had a good game. So <laughs> well, well, that's actually the criteria. Didn't want to, didn't want to borrow me the first four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got to get the uh, informed player on. That's what the, that's what the producers are telling us. <laughs> we were trying to get Charlie last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him eventually. Um, how about it though? Down at Mount Barker, um, was there truth that did you jump back on a bus on the way home after the game? Yeah, not your bus. Not our bus. Not the, not the team bus. Um, yeah, I had a mate's 30th uh, on Saturday. He took uh, about 15 of his mates and <laughs> my mates. I knew most of them. There's probably a couple that I didn't know too well but still knew of them. Yeah. Uh, they all caught a minibus to the game um, and then I jumped back on that minibus back to, to Adelaide. And, <laughs> that would have been interesting. Um, yeah, it was good. They were they they had were a firing. skidful. So <laughs> what did you say? First beer at 9am like, or something? What's that? <laughs> the bloke was having his first beer at 9am. Yeah, 9am, <laughs> Vidzy cracked his first beer. Um, and he well, was like, you probably don't want to hear from me from now on, so <laughs> I'll see you after the game. <laughs> they got the bus out there, spent the day, had beers, and you jumped on the bus. Yeah, after, after the team meeting, jumped on the bus back Straight with on. them. Um, they didn't have any beers on the bus, which was probably which was good. It sobered them up a little bit, but it was pretty. You know, when you like first walk into a group setting yeah, like that, and everyone's and probably together, had time. eight, ten yeah. beers, yeah, and yeah. you're just stone sober. <laughs> I was just like, it's a little bit awkward <laughs> here, but uh, no, it was good. I just went back, and there was about 30, 40 people there, and yeah. caught up with my family for breakfast, and back last night. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Talk yeah. about um, the gather round. Probably a good success. I think they said last year that's there for the next three years. How do you find it, Cluggy? What do you reckon? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. I thought as soon as we stepped foot in the airport, you could just feel the vibe around the place. Mm-hmm. Everyone had a scarf on. Everyone was keen to get down for the footy. And uh, even, I mean, it was, it was a little bit odd. Every time we left the hotel, you probably found it as well. You'd bump into players from everywhere. all different clubs. Players and everywhere. If I was a, a parent with, um, you know, kids that really love the footy, you'd just be walking around. Uh, I don't know what that area. What's the, so the kind mall? Of run, 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 yeah, yeah. Did you go to the mall's balls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Mall's Balls, the big silver the ball balls in the middle, middle of Rundle Mall. Yeah, that's, we walk, the, that's, we that's the major yeah. attraction in Adelaide. Yeah, the Mall's Balls. The mall's ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, no, nah, but it was a great great vibe um, and I think the AFL will be pretty happy. It's back there again next year, I think. Next, next three. three, I think. Next three. 20, yeah. Yeah. Tw- till 2026 or yeah. something. So yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, back to the game though. Um, they got on top of us at the start of the game, um, found our way back. We talk about moments each week. What do you reckon? Well, I'll start off first. I reckon that tackle from Link. Um, yeah, that tackle, the run down tackle. Yeah. yeah, that set up that like, and he was kind of joking about it because all the boys started to get a lick of the ice cream at the end of the game, and he was telling boys that didn't. Um, but like plays like that, even Moddy, yeah. um, at the end. Moddy had a good rundown one. I reckon both times I was sort of corralling because I could see that yeah, they weren't going to kick it and I'm like, I'm yeah. not going to go at him or he get rid of it and yeah. they're going to mow him down here. So <laughs> yeah. I was in prime spot for both of those. They were both great. Was Moddy, Moddy's in the last, I reckon? Last quarter. Yeah, yeah. Moddy's in the last quarter. On um, Tucker, I think. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think there was just plenty of moments like that where boys got hands in, the pressure was really good, mm. the few big tackles, few chase downs. Um, and then you can see off the back of that we had – you know, guys getting out the back because of the hard work that everyone else had done up the field, field, which was great. But, yeah, it was good to – they started pretty well watching the replay. I didn't realise they got up about three or four goals mm-hmm. early on and then we sort of just didn't panic and clawed our way back. And, um, yeah, I think it was pretty well-rounded well rounded performance. A bit of an insight into the um, Mount Barker for everyone as well. Like the ground actual – the actual deck was – Unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, pristine. So good. I got in trouble. Some- oh, I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> People were, like, slamming me for saying that... Because it was the same dimensions, basically, as the G. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, the grass... I think it's even better than what the G yeah. is. Like, it was just... No one had, no one had been on there for eight weeks. Um, yeah. So, that, like unbelievable Nick and people were like this bloke's kidding himself like, yeah. things I are better than the G that. I saw that on Sunrise in the morning I yeah I was like oh, I didn't say <laughs> it's they just like take it out of context. a better stadium than the G <laughs> I'm just saying like, no, bring, bring the grand final to Mount Barker, Barker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like even it was a little bit of a different experience like the change rooms and things like that like yeah so we kind of we warmed up in like a um, big tent like a market yeah. kind of tent. <laughs> had like the hard the hard floor underneath like it's like yeah. um, it was like plastic or something yeah it was like bouncy wasn't it yeah 
everyone's running there for the booze bloke. Yeah. So when you, doing when we had to like get obviously get changed in the other area and then you'd walk across and it was because it was wet before the game. <laughs> your feet would be wet, you try and get your ankles taped, it was slipping off. <laughs> While you're you walking back. past North Melbourne blokes who were walking yeah, there, the other way. as well. It was um, sort of I don't know, I don't mind doing that every now and then mm. though. It's a, something a bit different and I thought our energy was really good like before the game boys yeah. were up and about and um sometimes it is hard to read how we like we speak about it a bit. I don't think you can really read into the vibe before games nah. as to how we're going to play because some weeks it can be like the weekend where we're at, up, up and about, about, everyone's laughing, having a good time, and then you come out and it's not quite on. And then other weeks you can be, you know, as co- uh, quiet as anything and comes out hot. So, um, yeah, but I thought we were, yeah, brought a lot of energy. We were really solid um, again. And, yeah, looking forward to Canberra now, which will be a similar sort of vibe. Yeah, well, we had... Playing in Canberra last year, that was um, good fun. Like um, going there again this year against Sherbrooke, it's always going to be a tough challenge. They actually looked mm. right against the Hawks. Um, yeah. They played at Norwood, didn't they? At Norwood, yeah, yeah which is skinnier than Simmons. Geelong. Yeah, I heard Geelong. that nine nine meters was it, or is that too much? Nine skinnier than nine meters. Yeah, yeah. It, on TV, I didn't go to the ground, but on TV it looks so skinny. Oh. The boundaries are like straight. They're straight lines. Yeah. That's what we, remember when we did the um, captain's, the run, captain's run there? I'm yeah. surprised yeah. someone has really pushed yeah. into that wall. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I think they actually brought it in even more because of that. The ground? Yeah. Well, that's probably why the nine nine metres is, is oh, there. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yep. Um, one more thing before we go into GWS lock. Before we uh, had the game, so each club spent, I think it was two days each side. So some teams mm. come Friday, play Saturday, stay Sunday. We got there Thursday. So it was a part of the gather round. Everyone had to go out and, and do something different. You had yes. a footy uh, clinic, didn't Just you? like a footy clinic. It was like a grand final sort of parade. <laughs> oh, we were up on the stage in front of all the fans and had to do a Q&A and a bit of signing. So it wasn't quite as entertaining as what you boys did. Yeah, we got to go out to the zoo. Um, do you want to tell everyone about that? That was pretty cool. Yeah, it? the Monado Safari Park. Yeah. Um, Pretty cool. Well, it was about probably 45, 50 minutes out of Adelaide, isn't it, yep. The yep. Um, that actual zoo? But it's like a safari park where they just have wild animals basically roaming around. So you can't obviously walk through there but take a bus out. And we got to feed the lions, which was pretty sick. Um, I'm pretty scared with that sort of stuff. So I was <laughs> yes. like, I was wigging a bit. But then once we were in there, it was so cool. Well, like, to actually give you a bit of concept, of yeah, to give you a concept. So it was like a tunnel and you walk out to the tunnel um, and it was like a 360 dome with like a caged mesh situation over the top of it and like lions are coming on top and there was a um, little girl sitting on her mum's shoulders and one of the lions started walking over, literally climbing up on top of the cage <laughs> and the um, the girls had to come up and say, yeah, I think you should just put your daughter down. <laughs> like she walked up to, to, to the dad pretty quick being like, <laughs> get her down. Do oh, like now yeah, because she was sort of like pointing at the tiger. <laughs> and was, the tiger was like... Oh. So uh, you the could, line, the line. You couldn't get your hand through the cage, but you could you get could. your foot. You probably you could have fingers through. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. But like honestly, if you see him go at the meat, so we had like I think it was kangaroo meat. Yeah. Putting kangaroo meat through there, they would like smashing yeah. it down and massive, so big. Yeah. Like the paws were nearly, oh, geez, like, the paws would be bigger than our hands. Oh, so yeah. big. Like standing up, probably a couple of centimeters taller than us as well. Like it was. <laughs> they, and they, did they the, roar at all? They were saying yeah, like they, they, they roared, actually they? like they roared, they roared a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think when like a little one, like a younger one, tried to come and get some meat, one yeah. of the, um, the big female ones. lion yeah, okay. was like started roaring. It was pretty Rack cool, kind of thing. But they they eye off the children. Hey, <laughs> yeah. it's like That's actually want to. There's like look at these little girls like laughing. <laughs> There's like a lion coming from like 50 <laughs> meters away, <laughs> just like walking up to oh, it. I'm like, no oh, way. Like, oh, but nah, that was that was pretty cool. You actually got to feed them as well. Yeah, yeah. So we got given like a almost like a metal stake that we got to stick through. Um, yeah. And feed them, but like just so so cool. Um, hundred yeah. percent recommended if anyone's out there and going again. Um, a bit more entertaining than what we did, but in saying that, we had a <laughs> we did have a good turnout of Lions fans um, down in Brisbane. It was, I mean, down Adelaide. in down in Adelaide, um, we probably had a hundred or so that were there when we went down to the little footy festival near Adelaide Oval, and I thought, you know, the atmosphere was actually pretty good out at Mount Barker as well. Yeah, definitely. Do you get to catch up with any of the boys um, from other clubs while you're in Adelaide? Uh, I don't think I did see any other boys. Nah, we went out. Well, we went out for dinner with. Um, 
with O and Corey Lyons used to play at the club and we brought with O back to see Alex with him. <laughs> Huey yeah. to watch some footy. Yeah. I've dropped him off at Huey's room in about maybe Probably half of the second quarter. <laughs> yeah. And it's like pop. Thursday night or yeah. Yeah, Thursday yeah. Night. Yeah, he was mates. playing Saturday though. Oh, so yeah, we were yeah. playing the next day and he just locked himself in there and just <laughs> lay in bed with Huey. Locked <laughs> himself in between Chief and I on the bed because the room was pretty full. <laughs> Stayed there till about <laughs> until Brummy Brian was on pretty much. <laughs> he slept in the whole oh, time. Friday night. <laughs> Friday night, yeah. And then Far he reckoned out. he was walking back through the Adelaide Oval crowd oh, in the pouring chaos. rain from the, I think it was a Richmond Sydney game after that. So, but he said it was worth it. So that's the main thing. Um, well, actually, I went to the first half of the oh, Thursday you did too. night yeah, game, yeah, yeah. watched Adelaide play Carlton. Adelaide looked, Adelaide looked so good, but mm. atmosphere was unreal there. Adelaide Oval was so good to watch footy. The yeah. like it was popping the whole week though, to be honest. Like, yeah. The crowd there, the turnout was awesome. Although they said it was a salad every game and I think yesterday oh, I was that, that probably probably just double, like, so you could buy a ticket and you get to go to both to, games oh so some would so, have yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. left or stayed or, yeah, yeah. Um, and just on the VFL as well the VFL with another win um, four up Dizzy Gardner come back to play his first game which was good I think he played yeah. three quarters maybe possibly yeah, yeah. didn't play a full game um, good to see him back and um coming back in and hopefully he can get his body right because you know he's been battling away a long time yeah. for his pre-season so Felt like he was never going to come back but it's it's good to see and I think the boys played really well we obviously didn't get to catch the game but Tommy Fullerton kicked a Four. few um, yeah. Reese Matho who obviously racked it up again as he does and um, yeah the boys are really firing so keeping that pressure on we'll move on to GWS this week um, it'll be another good challenge for us um, beat the Hawthorne on the weekend the number one pick um, what are we thinking yeah, I think they'll be pretty pretty tough to beat. They've got a lot of really good, experienced players still running around there, and um, some kids that have come in now. Um, Cabin, I think it is the number one pick from North Ballarat. Uh, yeah, who, stomping ground. Yeah, Miles stomping uh, ground. Who debuted on the weekend and kicked the goal. I think with his first kick, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So um, that'll be pretty tough. You've got players like Toby Green, who's one of my favourites to watch. He's, He's so good. A very good player. Um, and Himmelberg, who uh, finished the game. I think he took a specky. Went back, kicked the goal, put him in front, and then he touched the ball on the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, just last. after that, even that Tom Green, he's yeah, he's serious flying. footballer. Yeah. Isn't he? Is he's he playing so well. How old is he? He's is only he? like twenty one nah. or twenty two. Yeah, he's younger he? than yeah. Us. He's probably younger than us. He's a gun. Cool. Big yeah. boy. He reminds me of like um, Clary Oliver when he first got drafted. Mm. Like he just plonk himself in the hole and just like get everything. Yeah, just the beast. But yeah. nah, <clears> in Canberra, it'll be. Bring the puffer jackets. Should be pretty cold, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> we played there last year. It's actually all right there last Mate, year. Mate, we got a good ass day last good year. Last year, yeah. yeah. What do you reckon we have to do though this week to um, get over them? We know they're probably going to be massive on contested ball as well, so yeah. it's probably another challenge for our midfield there. Yeah, well, it starts there every week. I think every time, every time we play, we just talk about winning the contest because obviously, if you can get the ball into your forward line and yeah. um, let your dangerous players go to work, then you're going to be in a better position than if they're winning out of the middle and. And got some class as pressure. well, like Josh Kelly, mm. um, yeah, Canelio. He's Canelio. playing some good footy too, so yeah. it'll be a tough test, but look forward to get to Canberra, get back there. Do you reckon every Absolutely. club, start of their team meeting, just puts contested ball right? <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> it's come Definitely. Up. Definitely. We just gotta it's win the this. number one. <laughs> it really is. We yeah. win the contest for a chance. <laughs> Starts with you, big O. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my, I reckon, yeah, the, my favourite thing that I missed from Mitch Robinson was the calls from the wing. <laughs> <laughs> the come on, boys. <laughs> come on, boys. We need this one. Lock, turn it on, Huey. Come on. Starts with you, big O. <laughs> <laughs> They're just standard footy, footy calls, but um, no, nah, that should be a good game, so we're looking forward to that one. Beautiful. Well, uh, we'll have a quick break, have some ads, but uh, after the break, we'll get into a bit more of you lock and what you've been doing off footy. 2023 Brisbane Lions memberships are on sale now. A new era has arrived. Go all in at membership.lions.com.au. Cam, did you know that everyone hears differently and what your left ear hears will be different to your right? I've actually never really thought about that, to be honest, Hugh. Yep, well, we all care about our general health as players, but now, thanks to our healthy hearing partner, Ordera, we know that hearing is such an important part of our well-being. Since we started using Ordera's headphones and personalised them through our app to our individual hearing profile, music just sounds clearer. I definitely don't have to turn it up as loud, which protects my hearing. For our listeners, if you're interested in learning more about Adira, head to adira.com. And if you're a Brisbane Lions member, don't forget to check out your member benefits page to get 20% off. All right, welcome back to Kick Ons with Cameron Club. We got Locke with us. Um, we we're just chatting then in the break about our flight back. <laughs> Locky, firstly, started with Locky and Joe Danaher, not the greatest flyers. And on the way there, I was 
<laughs> I was seated in the middle middle lottery seat against I mean next to Joey and Locke and the whole time I'm getting like knees fidgeted <laughs> <and I'm against laughs> there's, there's some people we're talking about this for some people that you don't want to fly with yeah like I reckon Joey's one that because there's a group of boys that just always talk yeah, yeah. You're more, Joey Joey talks the yeah, whole time he, but it was actually good it went really quick yeah. you're more of a you watch movies a bit more don't you or I shows just, usually put like music on um, or yeah I'll watch like a, something on Netflix like a show but if, as soon time. as there's bumps I'll put my music on I'll just, whatever I'm <laughs> watching I'll stop <laughs> put music on and like full blast close my eyes and I'll just have my just hands <laughs> over my eyes and just wait for the bumps to stop I just think about I'll just think about like Piper and like how I need to get back to her and stuff like <laughs> I'm gonna make it back Piper I promise I'm coming back <laughs> even if it's not even that bad of turbulence I just hate it but it I'm was, actually alright take off and landing it's just like through in the middle bit cruising. yeah if there's bumps I'm like nah get Mate, me out of here so on the way home. what did they say on the way home they're yeah. sitting there and they're telling us that they had to change the flight path like this is so we're sitting <laughs> no, I'm serious we're sitting on the, on the tarmac like everyone's in their seats waiting to go and they go listen we're just gonna have to change the um the tarmac um oh, sorry the, the flight, flight path. path so we're yeah. actually gonna have to refuel yeah because we're it's going to go a like way. a bit more fuel and then everyone's kind of thinking well if you need a refuel surely you'd have a little bit of extra fuel yeah because <laughs> the trip was only it was two only hours. going to two hours and 15 minutes from what is usually like a two-hour trip yeah <laughs> so you're telling me that they don't even have 15 minutes <laughs> extra <laughs> fuel <laughs> And then we take off and it's like obviously started raining at the end and it's just like... Yeah, that's all the weather was shocking. Everyone started looking at the Bumpy as on the way up. So bumpy. So what happens with those ones where they come down, touch down and go back up? Have they got 10 minutes and they've got to be back down or it's all 10 minutes or it's a straight drop down to the ground. They must have to have like an extra hour or two, I reckon, on it and like a minimum requirement to have extra fuel. To be able to fly for an extra two hours. Yeah, because sometimes they turn around and they're like... Like if it's too dangerous or whatever, they'll fly back. and then be like, actually, we can't land here. We gotta go, Could you imagine go if you're in one of those situations? <laughs> like you on. or Joey, you would oh, full panic attack, do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple where I've been like, I could have a heart attack here. Like, <laughs> like my nearly, heart was, heart's going 220. Nearly I tears. Yeah, I no, won't cry. I'll just be like, I feel like I've got to stand up sometimes and like go for a walk. But you're not allowed to because the seatbelt's on. Can you think just of open up the window. <laughs> open up the window. Get some fresh air. I've been struck by lightning in a, in a plane. <laughs> what is it? Just a big bang? Big bang. And the, it was night time and the whole cabin lit up. Like, And oh, it was when I was at Frio and Nick Subin stood up and was like, no, 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 no. Like, we're, we're done. We're done. <laughs> and then I was just like, oh, my God, we're, we're in all sorts. Oh. They didn't even say anything over the speaker. And it wasn't until when we landed, they were like, oh, yeah, we got hit by lightning. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all good. It must happen a little bit. Oh, there sure. has to be some things. Yeah, yeah like, they built for it, like, apparently. <laughs> yeah, imagine being that first pilot that's just been struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how they, how do planes even work? Oh, oh. <laughs> we can stop well, talking well, about well, it. We've got to jump on one in three work. days again, so let's we'll stop talking about yeah, it. Um, <laughs> so we'll go quickly just before we miss it as well. Um, big milestone this week. Raddy playing his 100th game. Big Raddy. Big Raddy. Yeah. Um, come a long way since he first got drafted. <laughs> yeah. like, I heard yeah. he used to fall asleep in that in meetings because he was like yeah. up playing cod and stuff. So bad. In his first, first year. year. He would like stay up till oh, every two, All three o'clock. And yeah. then, like, on his Wednesday, sleeping at 12.30. <laughs> Apparently, he fell asleep for the whole AFL PA induction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, this is, like, I literally met him for, like, a week or something. Everyone's, like, sitting there, like, and he's, like, had his real scruffy hair. Yeah. Like, laying in the back of the seat, just, like, eyes closed. I'm, like, Unbelievable. Yeah. He's come a long way. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, some awesome. Now he's, like, a gym rat. Yeah. <laughs> gym rat. <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping on the back Even of that Matho. cream and matho yeah. thing. But, like... <laughs> Goal against Collingwood, like some of the stuff you can yeah. do out there. Like now he's starting to fend folks off as well because oh, be very yeah. <laughs> if you ask Zork about it, Zork says the funniest thing. Zork goes every time I see someone come through the club, he goes, "I don't know if I can trust him yet. I'm just going to see how they go." He goes with Rad. He goes, "Can't. He's just not going to be there. He's not going to be the player." <laughs> he's already <laughs> he said it. He said it. He wrote yeah. him off at the start. He goes, "You know what? He's turned his back and he's actually come around." Hundred games. Nah, Hundred games. He's for a star. He could be anything. Yeah, and definitely. Still, yeah, it hasn't even played 100 yet, so it's exciting to see what he can do. Bit about you now, Locke. Um, you got your ball magnets. Do you want to have ball a chat about that? Yeah. Um, Tommy Mitchell came up with the idea in 2020 when obviously COVID was at its worst and kids couldn't really train and um, just sort of came up with the idea to get an app going where it was like little footy drills for you could do by yourself or in um, pairs or threes and um, he's done a really good job. He's built it up, got me and Cripper on board and Aaron Phillips, 
Um, we, ha- we had Matty Rao, but I think he bailed on us. Matty, he had a bit too much going on with his Sharon. share and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's no longer a part of it. But um, Josh Giddy on board from the NBA yeah, as well, which is, cool. which is pretty cool. How good was he the other night too? Yeah, oh, man, unbelievable Star. to talk about the playoffs as well. Like, yeah. you're, you're a Golden State fan, but... I just lost Giddy. yesterday to, I know. by three to Sacramento. So. Like the beam, baby. Like the beam. <laughs> um, but no, it's going well. I think um, there's a fair few kids and a um, few teenagers and stuff signed up now and yeah. it's, it's looking good. So it's a good app though. Like um, even filming the content stuff for it, it's it's good fun. Like yeah, there's Pretty a lot easy. of stuff on there. Yeah, it's good. How'd you go with um, meeting Josh Giddy? How'd that come about? Uh, I don't know. Tommy Mitchell just, he's kind of like, uh, have you, you guys have met Tommy Sheridan? No, Tommy no, Sheridan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like Tommy. Just like a connect, Tommy. Just just, yeah, connector. just We'll talk to anyone. Yeah. yeah, connects really well with people. So um, I'm not sure how it come about, but he's done well. Mm. Yeah. The other day we were watching, looking at photos of you with <laughs> Steph Curry. Yeah. <laughs> the Steph. kits, the V-neck back in the day. <laughs> Low cut V-neck. <laughs> the hat on backwards the hat on the with the hair back. like out the front. It was like the, swept over. the denim jacket, V singled down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks good, doesn't it? Backwards. Oh, Times have Do you reckon changed. that'll come back? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Probably. Like retro's <laughs> come back now, so. <laughs> yeah, like 2010s. But no, nah, that was... Well, that was one of the highlights of my say, life. Me and Steph. Steph. We'll He's like my idol. Day. I love him. Um, kick the footy with him. Got to spend like 45 minutes with him. So that was unreal. KD as well. KD, met KD. That was, it was a year before he ended up going to Golden State. He yeah. was at OKC then. Um, both like KD's pretty outspoken and yeah. sort of hated a bit now. But when we met him, he was like so nice. So yeah. Nice. yeah. Kind of shy. Like, yeah, he yeah. was, he was a real cool dude. S- who would be your number? Steph would be your number one. Yeah. To meet if you hadn't met him yet. Yeah. yeah. Steph what about you, learn. athlete wise? Not even just basketball. Oh, geez. To meet Tiger. Like, yeah. so if you can just play, imagine just playing a whole playing nine like with you or yeah, something. Oh, so mate, probably so the dream. Good. I reckon LeBron James would be pretty cool to meet as well. Yeah. He seems like so much fun. Yeah. He's yeah. just a bit of a lad, isn't he? He's like, was that you and me talking about it the other day when, um, he got his post game interview and they were like, "Have you done any research on the other team?" Yeah, you were and telling he's just about gone that. through and listed every single person's oh, strengths yeah, and weaknesses yeah. and then gone, "Nah, nah, I haven't really." Uh, looked at that much. <laughs> um, and Memphis, because the, they won, they beat Memphis yesterday as well. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Is I that think, the actual playoffs now? Playoffs are on. So Lakers beat Memphis. Um, I think Phoenix and the Clippers might be on now. They're on now. Yeah, it's tight. So I'm a Clippers fan. That's um, that's going to be interesting. But playoffs Definitely. are the most exciting part of the year. It's so good. Yeah, Golden State will get over sack. You reckon? I don't know. I reckon Sacramento have been underrated. I saw, like, Golden State were favourites and mm. we finished sixth seed and they were third. Like, they've had a great year. So yeah, I reckon right. it'll be really hard. Probably yeah. game six or seven. But I reckon, yeah. Hopefully we get up. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. And how's the, uh, how's the fam lock? You got the Piper well. and Yeah, she's Jules. good. She's um, 18 months now, so she's up and walking and um, so much fun to play with in that now. Like, give her a ball and she'll throw it to you and stuff. Yeah. It's got, it sounds like a dog. But, yeah, you got the dog um, as well. <laughs> got the dog, Harley. He's in the back seat now. He doesn't get much attention, <laughs> but um, no, nah, he's going well. Um, Jules is good. She just started working again. She's a hairdresser, so yeah. book in with her if you're watching. You, you were saying that you can't even book in with her anymore. Can you? <laughs> yeah, she won't take men's anymore, and she won't oh, even really? cut my hair. Really? Yeah, she's hair. like, go go to Tommy Guns. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fifty bucks. Yeah, Tommy guns. <laughs> go to Tommy Guns. Um, I'm done with you. So, and she doesn't love my cut either. So she's like, I don't want to cut it like really? that. A bit yeah. rude. What she reckons it's too bit, aggressive. Just yeah, a bit yucky, bit, bit feral. Like, <laughs> doesn't love it. But <laughs> I that love it. Well, I've got a haircut. We've got a haircut. <laughs> and then Liv sent me to Donna, her mum's head, to clean <laughs> it, up, it up. She reckons <laughs> it look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, and captaincy as well this year, Locke. Um, that's been awesome, mate. You've been awesome to play under. But um, how have you found it working with Chief and um, little things like that? No, it's been good. I think um, it's sort of. A little bit different having a co-captain, but I actually reckon it works um, really well for us. Mm. Um, can sort of lean on him a little bit and like make sure that our messaging is on point. You've sort of got someone that you can go to and say, what do you reckon about this? Yeah. Um, a little bit more. And we've obviously got a great bunch of leaders as well that we can lean on pretty heavily, but I've actually loved sharing it. It makes it a bit easier, a little bit less pressure as well. I reckon when you're on the field, Definitely. sort of knowing that you've got him to, to take Not half the with. pressure off. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and as you boys know, he's um, he's a legend. So it's been it's been awesome. Wow. Well. Have you boys been finding a way to do the the coin toss or who goes in? Yeah. So we just done well, like speech. it's been like El- just El- doing El- two El- in a row. Speech. Yeah, yeah. So I've done the last two weeks. So then you Chief want, will do. You want them? Who's got the winning record? Nah, I haven't. I reckon I'm fifty fifty. Yeah. Um, 
don't know. We've we've lost on, one lost on the yet. weekend, have we? Did we? Lost it on the weekend, yeah. yeah. I was flat. <laughs> was the wind was sort of going that way a bit too. We were talking about I was asking all the boys, like, should we go this way? Go this way? Yeah, definitely this way. Walking back, I'm like... Yeah, the other way. Sorry, boys. <laughs> uh, Righty, well, we'll wrap things up. So, obviously, last week we ditched the ditched the quiz. I was zero and four lock. I was really struggling. No good. So, who's who's smarter than Hughes? Probably been thrown out. We're going to flip it back on <laughs> on Pumba. I'm going to get you two to go against each other for a little quiz. So, um, you're good. At four this, questions anyway. here. Am Not I? too. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm good at like Bruce. You know, Bruce he does those little games in midfield. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. good at those. But you got good I'm AFL knowledge as well. Oh, is that, that's your old man can list. Dad, my yeah. dad, get him on, get him on the show. That's he cool can list up. like the last 60, right. 70 Brownlow medalists and Jeez. premiers. That's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> Just off my heart. <laughs> I think Bruce McAvaney can do that in Melbourne Cup. Yeah, as well. Melbourne Cup. He yeah. could probably do do it all. The Olympic, he could all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. He could but dance as well. Anyway, right. That video is so funny. What's the song again? Um, one more <laughs> time. <laughs> Rightio. Let's get into it. Four questions. Uh, use just your name as a buzzer. First one on topic. Name the top three seeds of the NBA Western Conference. Lockie. Oh, you. Uh, nuggets. Oh, no. I know three is Sacramento. Two is um, Memphis. Oh, yes, well head. done. <laughs> That's impressive. One to lock, radio. <laughs> Maybe it's just clogging camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> what body part of Lockie has a dedicated Instagram Cam. page? <laughs> Lockie Neal's calves, baby. Yes, well done. <laughs> One all. Okay. How many goals has the King Charlie kicked this year? Cam. Oh. Don't add them up. Uh, Twelve. Bam, bam. Oh. Lockie. Uh, <laughs> Don't you add him up then? 16. <laughs> no. No, you can't. Well, can't go again. Go again. 13? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 2 1. Well done, Pum. Okay. Last one. <laughs> Spell Warnable. Cam. W A M A N. No. no. <laughs> Warm handle. W A R N A M B O O L. No. Oh, so double, is it double L at the end? No. <laughs> w A R N. N no, <laughs> one and ball. A R R. Ah, yeah. Would never got that. We, am right. I taking that for win? One. You're taking it. <laughs> Let's well, go, um, baby. Okay, you can you can keep it until you lose one, and then I'll. I'll you grab know it what back. I thought you were gonna say? I thought you were gonna get Lockie to do his um the you know his. Nah, that's retired. I can't do that anymore. Are oh, you retired that? Have you? Yeah, not doing it in the bins. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thanks for joining us today, Locke. Um, just for all the fans, back of the Gabba next week against Frio, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the week Canberra. after, sorry, yeah, after then, Canberra. Yeah. Um, so make sure you get tickets to that. And if the you're old joined, mob. Yeah, yes. the old mob. Pressure's Don't on, get baby. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed the podcast, make sure you subscribe on Spotify, give us a review, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.